So Sting is going into the WWE Hall of Fame, and this is the best time for that. I had tweeted about two hours before WWE made the official announcement that Sting was a good bet to be the headlining name announced for the Hall of Fame, both by Logic and from a few people inside the company I spoke to. Many believe his WWE wrestling days are done, and I would have to agree. He got banged up pretty bad against Seth Rollins in that last match. Uh, it just seems like those cards aren't on the table anymore. I don't think that they really want to take the risk. I don't know if he wants to take the risk. And you got your, you got, you got his mania moment. Uh, you know, you got him up against the world champion to, to, to try to further the, you know, that whole story with Seth Rollins. It just seems like the cards are off the table. No need to risk it. But he's still as fresh as he's ever going to be to the WWE audience with uh, his several appearances over the past year. So put him in the Hall of Fame now. Give him his big speech. Give him his big moment. Because any other year after this, he's going to be far too removed from his impact. And I'll let you decide the severity of the word impact. Uh, He's going to be further removed uh, from the impact. And years after this, the headlining spot could be occupied by several other people that are going to outrank him, so to speak. So this gives Sting the headlining spot on a WrestleMania weekend. He can be part of the festivities, do access, do media, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's going to be a hell of an induction speech from Nate, assuming he's the one that inducts him as he should. It's going to be a great speech from a guy in the business that everybody loves and Steve Sting Borden. Sting is one of the few guys I never got to uh, officially meet or do an interview with. And now, obviously, my life nor his life is over yet, so maybe that can be uh, that can that can change over time. But he's a guy. He had such a mystique to him, and we all can you know we we all can have our own Sting memories. The the closest I ever got to meeting him, and I feel like it was just a you know just a quick miss that I had there, was growing up in the '90s, growing up in the Maryland area. Uh, one of the best friends to my grandfather, who I've also spoke about, who who did some dabbling in, in, in independent wrestling shows. One of his best friends was a guy named Jim. Hook, who was uh, on the Maryland State Athletic Commission. And back then, uh, whenever, you know, if, if WCW or WWE, what have you, came to any venue in Maryland, you, Jim Hook and the State Commission guys, obviously, they got full range to be there for, for work purposes. And I was at a show once. I, I'm assuming it was pr- probably Baltimore Arena because, again, it had to be in Maryland and WCW ran there a lot. And anyways, saw Jim Hook at the show. Uh, and, of course, you know, he was a close family friend. He was, you know, so almost like a second grandfather in that time period. And I remember he gave me a little bit of a walking tour around. Uh, this is, you know, still an hour or so before the shows even started. And, uh, you know, a little bit of tech area. We got to go just preliminary back behind the curtain as uh, as they're still doing some setup and scrambling around. And I didn't, I barely saw anybody. I saw a few low-level guys, but the one guy, the one big name I saw as we were back there was Sting. I look over and about 20 feet from me, Sting, talking to somebody else, a uh, crew person he had the face paint on he wasn't yet dressed uh in in the black crow outfit but he had his white face paint face paint on and at this time sting was really mysterious you know in the rafters you know is he is he is he is he joining nwo what's he doing all 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 those questions and i saw him and just it really had that larger than life feeling and this is coming from a kid who i was spoiled i got to meet a lot of different wrestlers at a young age and see them out of character it still was larger than life looking at him and seeing him that close to me and and the man that they call sting i wanted to go try to approach him and before i could even ask and and get to that situation uh he was off and, and going off to do whatever he had to do so missed opportunity there but anyways congrats to sting and how about this question before I go to break? Is Sting going to be the first wrestler to go in the WWE Hall of Fame who had matches in WWE that he never won? That's an interesting little tidbit. Triple Live Radio, 412-320-7925. Call, go one-on-one, and I'll drop some knowledge on you. <laughs> 